sale 1978 Pontiac Trans Am. I'm going to walk around and tell you about the car and fire it up and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 78 Pontiac Trans Am. Finish it in Martinique blue with blue interior. 69,000 miles. Three owner. Sold new at the Meekum dealer. Fun fact. Um, you know, Meekum auctions, the file, whatever. Uh, show you that later. Uh, Z code 400 car. Automatic power steering, power brakes with front disc, power windows, factory AC, uh, build sheet, window sticker, dealer invoice. And as always, you know, go around it, tell you what I know about it, we'll fire it up, drive it, and I'll, as I go around it, point out anything that I see. So we'll start here in the front. Uh, nice front section here, actually, no checking on it, but just like a couple, like little marks on it, probably because it's the front of the car, you know, and you're following somebody down the road. You're probably gonna get some little marks on it, but actually very nice that you see there. Uh, the nose fitment's very nice. It lines up the way it should. It lines up here the way it should. It lines up there the way it should. It lines up there the way it should. Let's see here. It lines up there the way it should. Shaker hood, of course. 6.6 .6 liter. Put your blue bird on there. Uh, so a three owner car, 69,000 original miles. Uh, all the body panels are original to the car. I'm gonna set my phone down real quick so I can open the hood. So as I said, you know, fenders, quarters, doors, all the floors, front to back, trunk pan, all original to the car. Here's your original 400 motor, AC, power steering, power brakes. I love how, you know, unmolested the engine compartment is. You see some stampings on some of the older parts here like especially on the inner fender well I don't think I've ever seen a stamp on one before you see a beautiful look at that beautiful stamping there um, let's keep going Let's try a little bit more your trim tag is in place Again, you know, finish in the door uh, areas here. That marking, I gotta show you that. That one's pristine. Let's see, 94, whatever the hell that said. Again, your truck tag, your finish, your paint even in there is very nice as well. So let's go down the driver's side first to start it off. It was ordered with Rally 2s, so this is the correct wheel for the car. It's got mud skirts on it. Pontiac mud skirts, probably original with the car. It still has, you'll see when I get to it, the original carpet mats in there. That's what they were ordered with. You see that they're really, you know, not, not, not marks on that side of the car, or that section of the car. Other than just a little tiny stone chip on the window, the glass is mint. And your trim all the way around is pretty much in the same condition all the way around the car. Go to the door. Another nice thing about the car is that there's not a bubble on the car, not in any of the lowers, as well as there's been no rep uh, repairs underneath the car. See a little a little mark right there and if you get close a couple like little miscellaneous guys of course you're going to get some stone chips on this it's meant to do that anyway or like uh, absorb that a couple marks around the bird I'll show you the top of the car though doors both open and close as they should and as you see here your stickers are in place and look how nice the metal is in the door as well uh, your interior all original your door panels carpet seats front and back headliner your console your your dash mint the, the, all the interior is mint so let me closer up on this for you 
so that you can see it. How nice the, the fisher moldings are. I believe it was also some sort of a Z-Bart car because it has the tabs down there and there where they would spray like a rust proofing. And I don't remember seeing this on other Trans Ams that I've had. So I feel like at some point back in the day, this was nicely undercoated for preservation. And as you'll see, makes sense. Um, so here's your, your driver's seat, which has no rips on it. It's very clean. The only little bit of wear right here from when you got the shoulder strap on your seat belt. Um, your blue carpet, they're like a royal blue carpet mat. And like, look how nice the original carpet is underneath it. Look at that. That's very, very nice. Underneath there, there we go. Um, I'll show you the back seat first before I hop into the car. Beautiful seat backs there. Nice and clean down there. Your back seat, back seat door panels. Seat belts. This is all meant your headliner. No rips, no sagging. We'll sit in it. The stainless on the dash looks like new pretty much. No cracks in the dash pad, of course. Even this back there is nice. Factory AM FM console. A lot of times you'll see um, little chips in the console because people would smoke and it would burn and melt. Nothing there. Another thing, look at the ashtray in there. Definitely was not a smoker car to begin with. It even got going back where the power window switches are in the console there. That's amazing. Open and close nice, like I said. Let me make sure I got the key to get in. Yep. So I want to show you the trunk when I get there. See, there's a little bit of a little bit of dust here. Tiny little mark right there. A couple very small little guys on that edge. No bubbles, but a couple little marks down there. You see, like little chips. Uh, the exhaust from the, the I guess the catalytic converter back is all brand new. See a couple other little marks there. Here's your Meekum Pontiac Buick Opal sticker. Um, you know, a couple marks on this back section there. It's funny how the plastic wear is different over time than the rest of the, the metal paint. The spoiler lines up very nicely as well on both sides. Nice fitment there, and only pop the trunk. The nice thing is, all the lights work, including the reverse lights, which, as you know, if you've seen my cars for sale and heard me talk, you rarely find that these days. I just feel like people don't care, but the fact that they work is, not, is a nice sign. Um, spare tire, carpet mat, also carpet liner, don't always see that. Uh, your trunk pan. From what you can see, your original quarters. This is mint. That's where my, my original paperwork is. Here you go there. Let's show you there. How nice that is. You see a little bit of surface down there, but for the most part, all very nice. Okay. Uh, dealer invoice. 7,500 new. There you go. Um, oh, that was the window sticker. I'm going to have pictures of this as well on the ad. And then the build sheet or some of the build sheet for the car. Right there. So this is all extremely nice paperwork to have with the car. Your weather stripping, very nice condition all the way around. Your under trunk, nice. 
factory stamping there. Your trunk light works. I know you can see that. Um, so yeah, let's keep going here. Right on this back section here, you see a couple little touch-ups. You see two more touch-ups. Again, no bubbles down there. A couple stone chips though, probably at some point. Maybe they didn't have those for all the time. You can see the oh, you can see the brand new tips. You can see part of the new exhaust there. Uh, I got pictures on the lift, of course, so you'll, you'll be able to see all that and, and how nice the underneath is. I love the door edge guard. I believe it was ordered with this as well. It just it adds a nice little chrome look to it, and you know any sort of rubbing and chipping on the door jam that's just gone because you got the little piece there that's very nice again some usual stone chips on that you see a couple marks down there let's open up though love the metal in the door jam again how nice that is and you see the again the tab there there the one in the door and then one down there. I, again, the body by Fisher Molding. I don't know if I mentioned it on that side, but that's like excellent condition. This seat, mint. One small little stain there, you know, from being 50, 50 years old, if I'm adding right. Probably 47 at this point. Um, 56, maybe. 46. Again, carpet. Awesome, you know, clean the way it should be. Uh, the factory AM FM does work, and um, the car will be for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video. If you want to check it out, let us know. 78 Trans Am. Finished in Martinique blue, white blue interior, 69,000 miles, which by the way, 69,669, a couple good numbers in there. Uh, 400 number matching Z code car. Power steering, power disc brakes, power windows, AC, uh, window sticker, dealer invoice, build sheet. You see a couple little touch up right there. Like nice fitment here. Two little marks right there. Looks like a little little ding right there. Uh, totally unmolested car as you've seen going around it. All original metal car, which you've seen as I go around it. Uh, so yeah, uh, we are gonna fire it up now. Oh, the one thing that it, I wouldn't say that it needs, but it has is just a little exhaust leak on this side coming from the manifold. Other side's fine. Um, but you'll hear that when we fire it up, which we will do right about now. Thank you. <laughs> 